Okay, everybody, I'm thinking I'm going to make a batten off mask for my uh, Orion short tube 80 I've been messing around with lately. Uh, decided to put the SCT away for a while and do some little astrophotography with my little cheap scope and uh, do some wide field stuff and uh, see how that works out. But, anyways, I needed a batten off mask and I was going to order one and I thought, now nah, I'll go just make one. So if you go to this uh, astrojargon.net and uh, they have a template uh, maker on there where you can just go ahead and put your information in there and it'll it'll make a template. I already have the information in here. It's 400 uh, focal length and aperture is 80. And then the edge thickness is something you can change uh, depending on how much edge you want there, how big your... Um, uh, you want it to be where it sits inside the telescope. I think I'm going to make mine a little bigger than what I really need, and then I'm going to I'm going to sand it down and make it fit. So I think that's the easier way to go. So, anyways, you go generate. Once you get that information in there, and you can open, and it takes a minute here, and there it is. That's the template. So then you print that out and cut it out, and you end up with this. On a sheet of paper and then once you cut it out I got one cut out here somewhere I thought I did I must be I don't know what I did with it anyways but that's what you end up with um, and then what I did is I took a heavy piece of plastic and I actually super glued it in there and I think then I'm going to take my Dremel and see if I can cut those those uh, lines out white white goes black stays um, you know, and it don't matter that it's super glued to that because you're going to paint it black anyways in the end. Uh, I don't know if you cut that with a razor knife. Those are awful small lines. Um, it might. This is going to be uh, the first iteration of this. There might be more, so we'll see. But uh, this is where I'm going with it. So uh, hopefully this is going to uh, work out and give me my batten off mask for my little short tube 80. And go from there. Thanks. Okay, actually... Dremel works pretty good. Uh, of course, I have a adjustable speed Dremel, which really helps. So you, got, you can see, I can go really fast, but I found you don't want to go really, really slow, which can turn it way down. But this setting right here seems to work pretty good. I don't know if I can do this and record it at the same time. I don't think so. I'm going to screw it up and I don't want to do that. Um, but anyways, it's kind of self-explanatory. And what I found is when this plastic melts up here to the top, just take a razor blade, and I don't know if I can hold, here, hold on a second. And just scrape it across the top, and uh, that plastic will come off of there. Once you get it done, I think there's some cleanup to do, but uh, I think you got to go slow. I think I can only do so much of this, and then I'm going to get really fed up with it, and then I'm probably going to stop. But you can see... I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. It actually cuts it pretty good. I think this is going to work. So, anyways, we'll get back to you when we get done here and get it cleaned up and see what we come up with. See you later. Bye. Okay, semi finished product. Um, this isn't very thick plastic, it's pretty flexible, but it really makes it easy to work with. And actually, cutting with that Dremel went pretty quick. I, some of the lines are a little. Off, I got a little carried away in a couple spots. I don't know how much that's going to affect this. This is the first shot at this. Hopefully it works. Maybe I'll get a chance to try it out tonight. I'm probably going to take this out to the grinder uh, or the uh, belt sander, this sander, and clean it up a little bit and then uh, make sure I fit it right to the telescope and then paint it black and should be good. Um, actually went pretty easy if it works. Which I don't know. I don't know how critical is. Those lines are all exactly the same. I see I screwed up kind of right there. Uh, that's probably fixable with a little bit of black tape. But anyhow, uh, we'll see. This is where I'm at at this point. So we'll get back to you here in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so here's the final result. Uh, it's a little crude, but it actually works. I took it out last night. You'll see that here in a second. Um... So yeah, it, uh, the Dremel worked really well. I think if we're a little more careful, those lines would have been a little better. I got a little carried away. I was tired yesterday. I'd worked all night the night before, and I only got about two hours sleep. So I was 
uh, probably a little too tired to be doing meticulous work, but, uh, oh well, anyways, it works, that's all that matters, and, uh, pretty pleased with that. Um, also, when you're cutting these lines, if you use the Dremel, start in the middle and work your way out. You can't really start on the end and work across, it's, it's hard to do, so if you start in the middle. Also, when I put this in the telescope, I was sitting there scratching my head on how I was going to get it back out of my dew shield without taking the dew shield apart. And so I was looking on my dash, and I found <laughs> this little thing. It's a toothpick, a little plastic toothpick. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, I, I don't have much use for it. I don't use them, but uh, for some reason I ended up with one on my desk. But I could stick it down through there and turn it and pull that right out. Worked good, so... Just a FYI. Anyways, that's uh, that's a successful project and uh, not real difficult if you got uh, if you want to make one and uh, save a few dollars. There you go. Talk to you later. Okay. Well, I would deem that a successful test of the new Batonoff mask. It uh, seems to work fine. So, anyhow, there you go. So it can be done.